Skip it up and that up. So I have some shocking news for everybody. Tomb Raider Fraud Edition, Definitive Edition, is selling very well, which to me is surprising because it's the same damn game they had for the previous generation consoles from last year with a prettier coat of paint. Hey, I applaud Square Enix. I guess they did a good job marketing the game and telling people, hey, this is a re- we made it look really next gen. And I got to give them credit. The game looks good on the PlayStation 4. I mean, I don't think the game should be $60, so I still stand by my fraud edition, but the game does look good, okay? So it's selling well because people feel it's like the true first next gen looking game, at least from a third party anyway. But how is it selling? Who's... Which system are people buying it for? Okay, well, according to charts, GFK and UKIE, 31% of the sales are favoring the Xbox One, and 69% of the sales are favoring the PlayStation 4. All right now, we got to keep it real here. I got to keep it real. There, there could be other reasons behind this too. I mean, I don't think that much of a gap would these factors would make happen, but... There's 13 different regions. The Xbox One is still not released in yet, okay? And there's a 1.2 million sales lead in favor of the PlayStation 4. There's 3 million Xbox One sold as of the last time they did a sales chart on it. And there's 4.2 million PlayStation 4s sold. So that's a, it's over one fourth. There's one fourth of a lead, one quarter of a, over a 25% lead that the PlayStation 4 has. I don't think it would make those numbers that that 69% Tomb Raider Definitive Edition gap between 69% and 31%. But okay, you know, let's say there is some variables going on that there could be other reasons why the sales gap is so big. But I could tell you the first reason. People have been going on and on about the, how the PS4 version runs better. Okay, there's, there was comparison videos. There was a 60 frames per second video on IGN showing that the game runs smoother. Now, I have the PS4 version, like I just said in the previous video. It's not running at 60 frames per second the whole time. But there's a lot of times it's in the, it's in the 50s and 60s, okay? So think about it from a consumer's perspective. Herp, derp, 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 okay? You have $60 to spend on a game. All right. It's not like it's more money on the PlayStation 4. You have it's the same price on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Think about it here. And everything you've been reading says the PlayStation 4 version runs better. Which version are you going to buy? I mean, come on, it's not rocket science. And Microsoft, this should be scaring the shit out of you. Cuz think about the situation you're in. Your console, one, is more expensive. That could change. There's rumors. I know Microsoft is denying it, but there's rumors they're making to make the console cheaper. Two, multi-plats seem like they're always going to be inferior on your console. I just, I mean, I know back in the day I would say, you know, the the power gap isn't going to make a difference. It's not going to make a difference in performance in real world, but it seems like it is. I didn't think you'd be that stupid to let that happen, but apparently you are. So, Multiplats are always going to be inferior on your console. You're more expensive. And you don't have, as I know you're working on new IPs, first-party IPs, you don't have the exclusives to make your console a must-have. Gears of War is, is questionable. Gears of War judgment, people thought, sucked balls. And people are saying Gears of War was right for the seventh generation and may not work in the eighth generation. We'll have to wait and see. Halo really is like your only true meal ticket right now. All right, we'll have to see what else you come out with, but those aren't tried and true yet. So one thing you got to say about Nintendo, they have royally fucked up with the Wii U, but at least they have their first-party exclusives to fall back on. I mean, how many more games do we mean? Call of Duty Ghosts, 1080p, PS4, 720p, Xbox One, Battlefield 4, which I did still buy it for the Xbox One, have it for it because I have, like... My friend Tony Steeman and some other guys I know have it for the Xbox One. They want me to play, so I bought it for here. I have it for the PS4, too. It's 900p. It's 1600 by 900 on the PS4. 720p on the Xbox One. It's the only way they could get it to run at 60 frames per second and handle 64 players on screen. I mean, there's other games, too. Yes, you heard Facebook in the background. I thought I had to shut down. 
I mean, it just it seems to be a pattern over and over and over again. And you're in a tight spot right now because, like I just said, you're more expensive. That could change. You have the inferior hardware, so multiplats aren't going to look as good or perform as well on your system. And you don't have established, as many, I should say, established exclusives as your competitors do. I know I'm going to say this and I'm probably going to say it in 100 more videos. Microsoft, was that Kinect worth it? I hope it was. Because right now it doesn't seem like it was. And I think in the long run, you're going to be put in a tight spot. Anyway, folks, make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting Review Tech USA. Have a good one.